for the year of 1979, Syracuse University played away games. If we had home games, they were down at the Meadowlands in New Jersey, or we played away games at other uh, schools, fields. Well, you know, 79 was a really strange year. Uh, I think it started out when we took a picture for the, uh, the program, and we were going to put on the schedule on that, and we are talking about this, and we were going to be road warriors. And, you know, we were the best road team in the country because we didn't have any home games. It was unbelievable. You know, I mean, you see the programs. I'm sitting there, you know, I'm the goof, I'm in the middle, and you got the rest of the guys around me, right? I got the suitcase. I always wonder why I got the suitcase. They just, they give it to the fat guy. I think that's what they do. At the onset of that year, it was something that I looked forward to. We're sitting there, and you know, we're talking. We're going to play 11 road games. Do you really realize and take in what 11 road games is like? I mean, it's, it's unheard of. I was excited about it at first. Uh, I always like playing on the road better than home because great stadiums, great crowds. We got to play in the Orange Bowl at Ohio State, uh, Penn State, Pittsburgh, at Illinois. Uh, and there were some great wins. I mean, we beat Miami in, in Buffalo that particular year, too. So there were some outstanding games, outstanding wins, some disappointments as always. And, and there enough, off we go. We played a couple games in Rich Stadium, and then we played a couple games in the Meadowlands, and then in Ithaca we played a couple games. Uh, well, it was tough. Obviously, you know, home field advantage, you lose that, and then, of course, you, you always feel comfortable being at home. It, it was just really tough, you know, having to travel every weekend. So many guys who were in pre-med, had to change their majors because they were never at school because every Friday we were always traveling. I would say by about the seventh or eighth game, it got a little weary. To be constantly on the move and traveling, how Frank Maloney held that team together is phenomenal. And we were actually semi-successful with a six and five record and then went on to the Indian's Independence Bowl in Shreveport. I remember the game like it was yesterday and I could still recall a lot of the plays and that stuff that were going. You know, it was just one of those games, and, and you, we had to win. It was important for a bunch of reasons. One was we, Syracuse hadn't been to a bowl in 10 or 11 years. And we went down and we won the game. We did what we had to do. I, it was hap we were all happy for our players because they deserved it. After that year and after 78 and then 79 being on the road and, and having to endure that type of a season. And having gone through so many tough years to actually see my senior year come to a winning year, to go to a bowl game, to win a bowl game. Um, it was phenomenal, beyond belief. We bounced back, we were very resilient, and we were a better team for the team that was three and eight the year before, we're six and five the next year. So we were making progress as a team, even though we didn't have any home games. I know as a senior that year, it prolonged a season where we had some success, None of the kids at Syracuse at that point had ever experienced a bowl game, so I think that was pretty good too. You know, we were glad to see that our, that our players, I remember Frank was very, very proud of the fact that our players had hung in there despite this and then had an opportunity to play in a bowl game. I think for me, going down to street sport and playing in that game meant an awful lot to us because it, you know, it was a proud tradition of this university. And I think that people had forgotten how great Syracuse was at one time.